tracer, we are going to see a table and routing challenge. Okay, this is our addressing table. This is our VLAN and port assignments table. This is our topology. Okay, now scenario. In this activity, you will demonstrate and reinforce your ability to implement intervillon routing, including configuring IP addresses, VLANs, trunking, and sub interfaces. Okay, so instructions configure the devices to meet the following requirements assign IP addressing to router R1 and switch S1 based on the addressing table. Okay, so let's do this. Start with the router. Okay. The gigabit zero slash zero is already configured, which is this one. And now let's configure the sub interfaces. Go to other sub interface. Put IP address. Okay. Another sub interface. Dot thirty. Encapsulation. Okay. Associate with VLAN thirty. IP address. Okay. Another interface. Now it's the native. Okay. Now we are going to configure the native interface. So we use encapsulation dot one key eight eight native. Our IP address. Now, last to interface, the management interface. And our IP address. Now, we issue the gigabit 0 slash 1 and we use no shutdown and all interfaces change they state to up okay all of our sub interfaces change their state to up okay so for router r1 everything let's go configure the switch s1 so in switch s1 what we have to configure they are just saying here to assign the IP addressing okay based in the addressing table so we just have the the management VLAN. Okay. So. Okay, I'll. I'll use. Okay. Okay. Change state to up. And now, IP address. Zero. This is the IP address. Okay. Okay. I don't know if they 
are going okay configure the default gateway exactly this is going to be our IP address of the default gateway which we have already configured in the router r1 and subinterface.99 okay now create name and assign VLANs on switch s1 based on VLAN and port assignment table ports should be in access mode okay your VLAN names should match the names in the table exactly of course so let's do this okay first VLAN 10 name okay exactly sorry okay Next VLAN name students. Now next VLAN, which is the name guest and it's guest default between brackets. Okay, which is the native and we have already configured the management VLAN okay. so this is our VLANs okay let's check again the names okay Now let's assign the ports. Okay, so the first will be the interface, the range interface. A range interface between fast Ethernet 0 slash 11 to fast Ethernet 0 slash uh, 17. Okay, switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 10. No shutdown, okay. Now interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 18 to fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 switch port switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 no shutdown okay more things interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 6 to fast ethernet 0 slash 10 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 30 okay more and now the interface gigabit 0 slash 1 this will be switch port mode Access switch port access VLAN eighty eight and okay no shutdown okay. Okay, we have all of our interfaces configured. Okay. Now, okay, the names assigned, VLANs, 
push should be in access mode, your VLAN should be okay. Now configure the gigabit 0 slash 1 of the switch of the, the switch 1. Um, as a static trunk and assign the native LAN. Okay, it, here I, I made a mistake. Okay. So let's interface gigabit 0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk okay switch port trunk native villain 88 okay um. okay already uh, issue this one. Shut down, now shut down. Okay, and that's it. All ports that are, are, are not assigned to VLANs uh, should be disabled. Okay, so. Ports that are not assigned. All ports that are not assigned to a VLAN should be disabled. Okay, let me see. By default, the ports are assigned to a VLAN, which is VLAN 1, but I think they, that what they want to say here is to assign, to put these interfaces into disabled, okay? So interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 to fast Ethernet 0 slash 5 shut down okay and then the interface gigabit 0 slash 2 shut down okay as it and now we have completed a uh, hundred percent the this packet tracer configure Interval and routing on a run based on the addressing. Uh, okay, sorry, I've already configured that uh, in this step. Okay, verify connectivity. Router R1 and switch S1, and all PCs should be able to ping each other and the server. Okay, let's let's ping and test. I'll test with with the first PC. Okay. 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 Working. Working. Okay. Okay, now let's see, let's go to, to PC2, working, okay, let's go to PC3, It's working. Okay. And finally the server. Okay, well, I think that's all. Thank you.